welcome to my channel, Authentically Amber. I'm Amber. And if you watched my last video, um, you would see that I just got these Hyrex Butter Print um, set for $50. <laughs> so proud of this find. Um, but I want to display them in my new china cabinet here. However, um, I want to be able to stack them up, you know, so you can see the prints. So I did a little research. And from what I can see, um, one of the best options is using, I sent my son to the Dollar Tree and he picked up two different sizes of these little disposable, um, they're kind of like a Ziploc knockoff, these are Betty Crocker um, containers, they're round containers. So let's open them up and see if they work um, as far as raising my bowls up. So I'm going to unstack them and we will open up the largest bowl first. I'm going to kind of play around with the size to see which one would be the most feasible. These are packs of two, so I spent two dollars on two packs, um, so we'll see. So I'm going to put the lid back on and put that in the largest bowl, so that's on the bottom, and then let's see. Does that raise that up nicely? I think so. Um, and I'll go ahead and put the second bowl in there. Can you see? And then of course, from a distance, you don't see the red lid, <laughs> right? Um, so I think that's gonna work out. I'm gonna go ahead and open the smallest because I only have two of those, um, two of the medium size. This is. A smaller size, which should be perfect actually for this cute little small bowl here. Um, make sure the lid is on nice and tight. So I'm gonna set that in there and then set that bowl there. What do you think guys? Can you see? You can't see the red lid, right? Hopefully not, <laughs> at least from a distance. Now I'm halfway wondering, do some people remove the lid? Do these screw off? No. Boy, that is really on there. I'm gonna try one without the lid and see if that sits down in there. Right, or do I like it better with the lid? I think for stability's sake, I like it with the lid on it. So I'm going to set these in the china cabinet. <clears throat> this is a new china cabinet that I got. The lady, it was a dark cherry and she did kind of a shabby chic uh, finish on it, distress. However, at some point in the future, I will have to paint the inside doors, but I'm not worried about that for the sake of today's video. Um, so I'm going to take those off and set these in there first, the two bowls and see how this looks. I do have a light here. Let's see, that might help. But this just raises them up enough where you can really appreciate the pattern. Because I wanted to be able to see them and enjoy that. And then I already have the lid there. I mean the bowl. Let's see. Now my my challenge is, is this going to be stable? Fortunately, we have a tile floor, so it's not like someone is going to be shifting the floor surface if you walk by. What do you think about that? I may need to remove the lids for them to sit down in there. Let me try that one more time just to see how that is. That may offer a little more stability. I'm gonna do the same for the next bowl down and see if that helps them to sit more firmly in there. Let's try this one bolt at a time. Hmm. Try 
trying to see if I like that because that does make them sit a little lower. does seem to offer a little more stability if they sit in there without the lid. What do you guys think? Comment below with the lid or not the lid. Have you seen this done? Do you use these little disposable bowls? Um, let me know. I also have a set here of the, um, this is the set I was talking about in my last video the early American pattern. I'll show you real quick. Um, we tried it. We were testing out some styrofoam. That definitely is not a good option because it is definitely not stable. But this is the early American pattern with the brown and the gold uh, motif. Can you see that? This set, it's a set of four Cinderella bowls I got from Goodwill. Um, a year or two ago, but it has the alternating brown and white pattern. Very nice with the rooster and the kettle and all of that. Um, and then it has the next one would be the brown and then the small white one. And these are all in excellent, excellent condition. There's no scratching whatsoever. So I really like this set as well. Um, as you know, I'm expanding my Byrox collection. Um, very happy about that. Um, but anyway, I will need to get some more bowls to um, you know, be able to display them. So let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you think? With the lid on or without, as far as stability sake? Um, because I do, I love to be able to stack them where I can see the different um, patterns. <clears throat> of course, this is all the same pattern, but to see the pattern, um, that just really is nice, especially for this shelf. There's a lot of room, so that, that's really great. As you can see, I have my Franciscan um, Desert Rose dishes that I love. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I think this idea of using the Ziploc containers to display them is great. So it's, the dilemma is with the lid or without the lid. Um, either way, I think it's pretty stable. I don't think anybody's gonna knock into the China cam, I hope not. <laughs> um, but it's an interesting, it's a great uh, inexpensive way to uh, display your Pyrex. So let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you later. Have a great night, bye-bye. Okay, so just a little update. I decided that it is definitely better, pardon the background noise, it is definitely better without the lids on it. So that is my recommendation, to use the disposable bowls without the lid.